<laughs> Maybe next time don't lead with teleportation. Oh. That's a theory. Yeah, well, and so is the flat Earth, but it's not going to get you funding from the Pentagon. We're talking about upending. Only the hollow Earth will. <laughs> Howdy, folks. Welcome on back to you, me, and the TV. And yeah, it's time for some more Monarch Legacy of Monsters. That's right. And what's going on? What happened last week? Do you remember? We met another monster. Yeah, a big dragon bat. Yeah, it was disgusting. I mean, Batra. Goop. Yeah. Goopy. Yeah, goop. What was that stuff about? I don't Just know. how he digests. It's his... Very alien-like. Yeah. yeah, trapping people in like little. Xenomorph yeah. style, yeah. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So yeah, our young kids that are half siblings finally met Kurt Russell, mm -hmm. who's ninety years old. Who was living in a like an assisted living facility owned by Monarch. Yeah, under house arrest, basically. But he took off his ankle bracelet, and they're going on, who knows where on the lam. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and meanwhile, back in the fifties. Younger version of them, they just saw that bat. So, what's next? I'm not sure. I bet we meet a new monster today. Yeah. Are we going to see any Godzilla in this episode? Probably not. Yeah. I wonder if we don't see Godzilla. Well, we'll see flashbacks of Godzilla. Yeah. I wonder if we probably won't see Godzilla in present time again. You think so? Well, hopefully you're wrong, because I want some Godzilla in this episode. That's why I got him out. All right, well. Hoping for some Godzilla. Fingers crossed, then. Well, should we jump in and see what's next for Monarch? Let's do it. Let's do it. But first, like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out with us for Monarch. Something about monsters. Legacy of monsters. That's right. And check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos. If you want comedy access to polls, help us pick watch next. Link's down there. Check it out. Let's watch Monarch. Legacy of monsters. How do we find him? Where do we even start looking? We start where his trail ended. <laughs> Good luck with that. They searched for his plane for weeks. That's hundreds of square miles of, you know, Alaska. Yeah, then we'll look where they didn't. Alaska? You good with that? I want to find my father. Me too. <laughs> well, now they think he's alive. Ah, they're on to us. Get to the van. I'll drive you the keys. Hit the subtitle button. Why? They were on the bottom. You don't want to know what, what they're saying in Emerged. Japanese? It wasn't. Okay, where's the key go? Oh my god. When was the last time you drove? Hey, if it floats, flies, or runs on four wheels, okay, I can put on the pedal, press the... Oh, yeah, turn it back on. I'm sorry. Hooah! hoo -ah! Uh-oh. For collision? Uh, yeah. What are you doing? Where are we going? You pay for a collision? Are you insane? You never drove with your grandmother. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> she was a crazy driver. Hey, the. Most action that old folks I've seen in a long time. He still got it. They look so much like it's so yeah. it's so amazing. <laughs> that transition really hi highlighted it. Yeah, they look alike. They sound alike. Their mannerisms are the same. Oh, it's just great. Can we trust this guy? As long as we don't make him look like a jackass. Shouldn't have trusted him, huh? It's a bit like herding cats, sir, if cats had Geiger counters and thought they were smarter than you. <laughs> Congratulations on your promotion, General. Well, thank you, miss. Of course. And it's doctor. Forgive me. Embarrassing him? Not a great way to start. Yeah. But hey, he's a military guy. He should understand tiles are important. He should, yeah. They're about to found Monarch right here. Yes, but we took this impression in a muddy field in Indonesia. Three weeks ago, before the monsoons filtered in. How does something this big walk around without being seen? Well, I'm leaning towards teleportation. We have a number of working. 
<laughs> Teleport. Isn't that Godzilla's footprint? Looks like it. Why just settle for a photograph? What if we had a way to lure it out of hiding? All we need is 150 pounds of uranium. And let me explain that, sir. It's as much as we dropped on Japan. She's like, yeah, I know. <laughs> Thanks. Sir, a creature like this, as big as this, is an existential threat to global security. God, the general looks so familiar. I feel like he was in the X-Files. He has an x files -y -like look, doesn't he? <laughs> Maybe next time don't lead with teleportation. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, and so is the flat Earth. But it's not going to get you funding from the Pentagon. We're talking about upending. Only the hollow Earth will. <laughs> he is right, though. If we hide who we are and what we're trying to do, then what's the point of doing it at all? He was on Are You Afraid of the Dark? Hmm. I can't remember him from that. It's on your mind. Just started. Okay. Nothing. You know, there's a King Kong series, too. No. It's an animated King Kong Skull Island series that's in the universe. Maybe we should watch that. Okay. My gut says, if we find it before they do, we find him. But May built something to read them, but it's back at her place. No, I, I actually, I, I digitized them already. You know, save it for a rainy day. Well, all right, Egghead. Need you to look in there for uh -oh. anything about Alaska. He just lost a little trust in her for some reason. She's working ahead. Mm hmm Do you know what Kuku is? Well, it wasn't in solitary confinement, May. <laughs> Late 40s, thereabouts. Wouldn't that make you like 90 years old? Thank you. They're addressing it. Good genes. That's good genes. That's not addressing it. I mean, he does have good genes. It's what we wanted Monarch to be before they lost their way. Look at them now. They're chasing you guys instead of monsters. It's got to be because he was like in the hollow earth or something for yeah, a long time trapped somewhere yeah you really think anything on earth could have stopped it stopped that then he threw his life away for nothing he's not dead though he didn't throw his life away not yet you're gonna find him alive i think so also his age thing is not a plot hole it is a plot point there i feel like it's gonna be a, it's gonna absolutely it's gonna be a, it could a plot be like point. what season two's about <laughs> That's what it feels like to me. Be a good ship for transporting a Kong on. Bikini Atoll, 1954. <laughs> this is fun. Do you know what happened at B Bikini Atoll in 1954? Nope. Can't remember. I think you'll find out. Thank God. Uh, nuclear bomb testing or something? You could have told us. Well, that's not how top secret nuclear tests work, son. I understand, sir. All they're asking for is a chance to assess what we're dealing with. We don't even know what these things are. They're an existential threat to global security. Mm, using your own words against you. <laughs> this is not what they had in mind, but it's become bigger than all of us. But you did hear them when they said they consume it, right? They eat it. They don't die from it. They just consume it. Well, they got to find that out the hard way, I think. I guess so. See, in the original Gojira, Bikini Atoll, 1954, is what awoke Godzilla. Godzilla. When he, and then he swam to Japan and attacked mm -hmm. Tokyo. My life, everything I've built, who I am... I didn't know this would happen. Yeah, fair enough. But until we sort out your mess and I get back what you cost me, you do not get to tell me what I need. All their lives have kind of been turned upside down. Mm-hmm. So we need to get rid of these. No. The fish will eat them. 
There's someone in Pohang we need. He's an old friend of mine. Might be the last friend I have left. But you're right. Hiroshi is your dad. And yours. Start hiding the tapes in your pants. Who's this old friend? I don't know. Now they have the only copies digital, right? Perhaps. Backpack, right? So anyway, look, we're not terrorists, and I've never been to North Korea. <laughs> so, hey, <hold> on. <laughs> you said the bad words. Don't you? I just want you to know something. I will make it worth your while. We are not for sale. Well, then you're even dumber than you look. He's like 95, you guys. You can't beat him up. Jesus, man. You ever heard of pulling your punches? No. Uh, my brother. <laughs> it's all part of the plan. You look younger every time. You look good. Nah, not really, but that's what everybody tells me. Hey. You look younger every time. What has he get gotten exposed to? Anti-aging something, huh? Maybe that's what radiation does to you. Large amounts of uranium exposure actually is anti-aging. Hmm. That doesn't seem right. It doesn't that doesn't seem logical, but <laughs> maybe Godzilla radiation type. Uh, I mean Godzilla's super old. He consumes the radiation and then spews it in an anti-aging sort of situation. Yeah. Let me think it's how old anti radiation Godzilla's super old. It's true. Choi's in South Korea. Facial recognition AI flagged him and the others detained by customs at the ports in Pohan. Well, better chase after him. Shaw's been on ice for years. Why make his move now? No one understands better what Shaw might be up to. Why these files are so important to him? Crazy knows crazy. She said Shaw was on ice. Is he frozen? Like Captain America? That's why he's 20 years younger than he should be. Maybe. Why would they take him off ice, though? What would be the benefit of taking him off of ice if... It's hot enough to fry the egg on Puckett's face. This thing is a no-show. I think it's safe to say we're losing the army's backing. <laughs> also, the way they're all sitting. We really didn't understand the power of the nuclear <laughs> ball back then. <laughs> Is that the big G? What the hell does that thing need protection from? Us. <laughs> I don't think he needs protection from anything. Seems short. Or maybe not. Uh, close your eyes. <laughs> Here they are just about to sit in the plume of it. <laughs> Hopefully they're upwind from it. She's also Japanese, so that has like another meaning to her pain. The bomb itself. Yeah. Yeah. What have we done? You just pissed him off. That's about it, right? He's fine. So I've been searching up the keyword Alaska, and all that comes up is missing dog sledders and Yukon Yeti sightings. But um... I'd go for the Yeti sightings. Right? What does it mean? Why was he going to Barrow? He was headed to Barrow. That's not where he was going. Barrow Alaska's like, 
the northmost, I think, airfield. Hmm. There's a cool high school football team that plays right on the coast, Barrow, Alaska. So I gave him a proposal, string of monarch outposts, extra staff, monitoring equipment, the works. He rejected it. He said we didn't ask for enough. <laughs> they are giving us a blank check to find out if there are more of those out there. Say we find another one. Mm -hmm. Does the general need to know everything? I'm sorry, are you suggesting that I lie to my superior officer? No, but... A lie and a secret are two different things. Yeah. <laughs> Do you trust us? Just it's not a lie if it's just omitting <laughs> details. I'm not sure I appreciate that you're saying those <laughs> things to me. I give you all the details. Are you serious? And I trust that you will tell me everything that I need to know. Are you okay with that? I'm fine with it. <laughs> <laughs> so what do they keep from Shah so he doesn't have to... All the things that they don't want the, okay. the government to know about. What is it to you? Are you like another one of his sons? Sorry, didn't mean to pry. That'd be weird. <laughs> They'd be like the same age. I saw many people die. My father. Good friends. Well, but he's flying that plane like like you drive a car. <laughs> whoa, 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 what was that? Uh, hey, brother. I think we're getting close. Yeah, I think this is the spot. Oh, oh boy. Does the dragon fly this way? That they saw back in the 50s? Uh, something has some sort of travel pattern that goes yeah. this direction. It's just water. Put the cap back on. Put it right up here where I can see it. <laughs> All right. Now we got an attitude indicator. Here we go. Make sure you're keeping it flat. Yeah, because you can't trust the gauges. All right, what's up? Yeah. Girl, you are supposed to be asleep. It is 9.15, dude. Not eating snacks, sleeping. You got school in the morning, man. You didn't eat enough dinner, obviously. Good night. Godzilla. I don't know how they're not tired. I'm exhausted. Basketball practice. Basketball practice wires them up. Ready? Yep. Oh my god, stop! Come on, baby. Stop! Stopping somebody is how you die. Ooh, level up! There, we can land there! This is gonna be rough, guys. Hang on! We're landing? What's that down there? What? Wait, what? Hang on, it's something! You saw something out the right side? Yeah, a light. Shining off that mountain. He nailed like it. Like a glove. Hell of a job, co-pilot. <laughs> what are they going to find up here? Oh, they literally Another found... Plane. <laughs> the plane. The plane. Crash landing. They probably parachuted out. It's not their dad. Nope. It's not him. That also looks like bite marks. Bite marks? Yeah. Tent? Oh my god. Do you think anyone's there? 
Uh, I mean, if they are, they heard you. Right? I know that handwriting. Me too. It's their dad. But where the hell is he now? Because he hasn't been there for a while. He survived. They gotta go look where the kid saw out the window. Oh no. It landed safely. Something so something the plane. did. So something did. They were planning to go there. So something happened right after they landed. Then. We go now. You're right. Bite marks. Claw so the marks. Bat? Oh, no, it wasn't the stop the plane. They just tied the plane tied the down. Plane the yeah. Ice. Oh, shit. Oh, no. The fuck is that? I think, I think that's a Yeti. He's about to die. Oh, shit. Ooh. A freeze monster? Oh, God, it's so gross looking. Oh, they're fucking stuck there. Oh, God. Yikes. With the freaking... Freeze monster. Uh, physics on that thing looks pretty cool. Like it's got like liquid nitrogen tips Ten kind yeah, of things like on its tentacles on its mouth. Mouth tentacles. Yeah, cool. Oh, so gross. I, I think... hate it when things open up and then like. Oh. He's one ugly motherfucker. Yeah. Oh, I hate that. Yeah. So how are they gonna get away from that thing? I have no idea. And did that thing eat their dad, or did he get get away? I think he. I'm sure he's got it. Won't got yeah, away. Yeah, because um, saw something out the right window. Mm -hmm. like, it looked like a light. Yeah, or like the, the reflection of something. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. something was over there. So they got to get away from this monster and head that way. Yeah. Because oh, they don't have a plane anymore. No. I feel like there was a map and like a GPS thing in that tent. By the dad's pencils and glasses. Yeah, it was like his cell phone or something. Yeah, it was like something that had like a little tiny snub antenna and like a little yeah, like a satellite screen phone. On it. Or... So they need to grab what they can. And... I don't know that it matters if nothing works, you yeah. know. Maybe there's coordinates to where they need to go next. It's on the map. Could be. Well, we saw them nuke Godzilla. Yeah. And I th it's kind of fun because. If you remember back to the intro of the 2014 Godzilla, they show Bikini Atoll in the opening credits. Okay. And the footage that Rand oh, is doing yeah. is from that. Oh, yeah. So it's a lot of fun. Oh, that is interesting. That's a nice so callback, huh? Yeah, giving us the origin of that footage. Because in that footage, though, they just show the bomb, and then they also have footage of Godzilla swimming away mm -hmm. afterwards. So they didn't... I thought they were going to talk about like, the bomb did nothing to him, but they didn't really touch on... Maybe that's something. Maybe that's something that is captured on the footage, but not people never saw it in. They, they it didn't yet. see it in person, and they only captured it on yeah. the footage, and they didn't know about it till later. See that in the coming episodes. Mm -hmm. Well, we did get some Godzilla in this. Yeah, we got a whole new monster. So, how many different monsters is that? We had the bug monsters from the first episode that killed the grandma. Mm -hmm. We've got that bat dragon yeah. from last episode, and now we got this. Liquid nitrogen monster. Ice cow. Fr freeze monster. Freeze monster. It's like, what kind of, what the body of though? It's like a bear? I don't know, but a really spiky bear? Yeah. Like an anteater kind of thing with ice? I don't know. Not yeah. an anteater. I'm just saying the body shape kind of reminds me of an anteater. Hmm. But, yeah. I'm excited to see how they get away from that thing next episode. Right? Yeah. Where the hell do you go when you're in the middle of nowhere? Maybe Monarch f finds them quickly. Maybe. 
comes to help. I don't know. They're kind of far, way far ahead of them. I don't think there's any way they could track them down that quickly. Oh, boy. What's on your mind? Anything else? Which timeline are you enjoying the most after three episodes? The past. The past. Of course. Me too. I feel like that's the stronger just storyline and yeah. characters. I think there's just so much unknown about Godzilla, right? Yeah. Like, it's interesting to see the origin. I just, I really love an origin story. I think it's, yeah. the origin stories really make the present movies better for me. Yeah. So Learning more about younger Shaw mm. makes the older Shaw a little bit more interesting, right? Definitely, definitely. Especially when the, they address the age issue in this episode with them being 90. <laughs> Did that make you 90, dude? Yeah. It's like, yeah. I also just love a period piece, so yeah. it's fun to see a period, like yeah. a 1950s set period. We're seeing all these little nuggets and time points that they're hitting of things that just have been highlighted. Yeah. Like just, you know, in past movies. And so we're like getting the backstory. It's fun. I feel like the, the present time or not present, it's 2014, but the present day timeline mm-hmm. is the weakest part. And I think the most interesting part is the siblings relationship and how their bond might go. Cause mm-hmm. I mean, they finally hugged. So yeah, there's a little bonding in that episode. And I think Kurt, Ru- now that Kurt Russell's with the group, it's going to make that more, more yeah. fun because you know, Kurt's just awesome. Exactly. So Can't go wrong there. Yeah. Well, how would you fight this ice monster? I have no fucking clue. Monsters are just... Uh, I feel pretty hopeless. Yeah. Which people comment on after episode three. Did you see the freeze monster coming? Yeah, were you expecting a monster like that to come out of the oh, ice? Goodness. Or just... Uh, an ice monster in general? I think you've seen it all until yeah. you see a freeze monster. I was monster. thinking it was going to be like the bat or Godzilla showing up for yeah. some reason. But no, it was a whole new monster. And let us know your favorite timeline. Do you like the past or the present? Yeah. yeah. And what's your theory? If you have a theory and you haven't been spoiled about why Shaw is 20 years younger than he should be. Yeah, let what's us your, know theory? your theories. Mm-hmm. Right? Thanks for hanging out. Come back next week for another episode. Yeah. Monarch, Legacy of Monsters. Check out our Patreon link down below for more early access to this one. Copy access to pull up to Big Watch next. Link's down there. Check it out. Till next time. Have a good one. Bye.